In previous versions of Mocha, updating and customizing the keyboard shortcut layouts was a bit of a pain. You had to go into preferences and fight through lots and lots of drop down menus. You could do it, but it wasn't an enjoyable experience. Now, Mocha version 4, this has been broken out into a area all of its very own. So if we take a look at file, keyboard, we've already got the choice of five different keyboard layouts, and these have been changed so that they fit a little bit better with a host program that you may be more familiar with using. So for example, if you don't want to use Mocha Pro's default layout, you can use After Effects, Cinema 4D, Fusion, or Nuke. Or we can also customize our keyboard shortcut for ourselves. So if I take, uh, we'll take a uh, basic profile here, and I'm gonna click on Duplicate, and we'll, give, we'll leave this by its uh, yeah, default name. Now, instead of having our keyboard shortcuts hidden under lots of drop-down menus, we've got them a bit more easily accessible all in this one window view here. So if we look at our track and render here, for example, the track backwards is the less than arrow and the track forwards is the greater than arrow. Now these two symbols aren't actually very uh, accessible on my international keyboard. So if I wanted to change that to something else, all I have to do is double click on it pick the new character that I want. So I'm just going to use an A character here. If I'm happy with that, click on the yes. And if I click on the forwards here, and I try and use the same character, it's going to tell me that that uh, shortcut matches the shortcut of render backwards. So let's use another character here. That's now nicely uh, internationalized for me. And that will automatically save it for me there. So I can now happily update my shortcuts to the ones that I'm more used to, or to suit my international keyboard without any hassle whatsoever. If you're also not entirely sure about where a particular function is, we can also use the filter here. So if I just type in picker, it'll just leave the, the only tool that has my, my uh, picker here, which is currently set to control and F, and I'm happy with that. Now this keyboard shortcut file is saved and it is uh, available. You will have to do a little bit of digging to, uh, to find it but it is saved along with preferences. So there is a physical file that you can back up and copy. So the customizable keyboard function is just one more way that the Mocha 4 is helping to make your tracking life just that little bit easier.